Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ladies Power Lunch. Okay, that was really weird. Maybe we should do a second take on that. <laughs> Thank you. And take two. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Ladies Power Lunch. This take happens. Three. This happens. <laughs> take three. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ladies Power Lunch. <laughs> this happens, right? It's imperfectly perfect and for that we are truly grateful i am just coming off we are both just coming off ladies power lunch spring summit we are so tremendously grateful to everybody who was able to join us on summit we're grateful to all our sponsors guys it's the sponsors that pay for everything that is Ladies Power Lunch Summit. It's not ticket sales because ticket sales are nominal. It's the sponsors. So when I say how grateful I am to our sponsors, please do understand we owe them a debt of gratitude. Thank you guys so much. And I would invite you to please go ahead and in any way that you can support our sponsors because keeping them resourced keeps us resourced and allows us to be able to continue to share your message and ours with the world. Am I right? So thank oh, yeah. you sponsors. Want to say hi Woo-hoo. to Beata over on Ladies Power Lunch Facebook group just oh. joining us. Hey, and if you're just joining us, hi to you too. I am also grateful to all the authors who stepped up to be a part of the Ladies Power Lunch Anthology Workbook, which is a companion to the workbook that the book that we had for whoops, watch it all fall. The book that we had for Ladies Power Lunch Spring Summit, um, Fall Summit was Be the Beacon and it was full of stories of all of our friends who were able to, you know, find a way to shine their light and be the beacon in the best way that they could be and really inspirational stories. But we took it a step further and we went ahead and asked people who know how to get visible, how do you do it? Like, what's the formula? What's the success formula? And They came together and they gave us, like with no reservations, they gave us the blueprint. What I know for sure is if you start at page one and you work your way right on up to the end of this workbook, you will, you must find visibility. It is, it's not possible for visibility to hide from you if you are working through the workbook. It's so outstanding the quality is high and so i want to say thank you to all our authors who are now by the way if they weren't before best-selling authors because we are number one in some really outstanding categories on amazon for our workbook and if you haven't as yet gotten i agree elizabeth elizabeth is joining us over on ladies parlance facebook group and she says the info in this book is gold. I absolutely really agree is. with that. And I want to say thank you to the authors who are also speakers on our Ladies Power Lunch Spring Summit. If you have a chance to go on Amazon and download our book, Answer the Call, you can download it as a Kindle book or you can just buy it and have it shipped to you. Answer the Call is the name of the workbook and it's really, really tremendous information. So thanks to our speakers. Thanks to our sponsors. Thanks to Sandy and Angelica for being on site and making sure everything worked really well, as best as we could make it work. And of course, want to say thank you to everybody who showed up and who was so gracious with any hiccups that we were having or anything that did not go according to plan as life, right? Sometimes it doesn't go according to plan, but everybody who came and everybody who stuck with it and everybody who picked out all the nuggets that they could get in spite of any tech hiccups that might have been happening. We want to recognize you and we want to say thank you so much for just being a tremendous part of the days because when we add our vibration to the container it makes the vibration bigger and it 
goes a long way to raising the vibration of the planet. And I just feel like in this time that we're in, we could all use a little bit of a higher vibration. Am I right, Barb? Totally. 100%. Raise the bad. Awesome. So now it's time to get back to work, guys. We've you know, we've, we've answered the call. We know that we're here for a reason. We know that the thing that we're doing, it's not a drill. This is really important. This is really serious. And we do need to be available, be seen by the people who need us the most, the people that we have been sent here to serve. And well, a lot of you guys, you know, my story and I, sound very often like a broken record but my suggestion is if you know this one sing along right (laughs) you guys some of you know this story some of you don't ladies power lunch did not start for any other reason except as an organic process I started in practice and I started at a time when we were in an economic downturn we'd lost a lot of our patients because they no longer had health insurance, let alone jobs. I mean, people were even losing their houses. So it was not the best time to be starting in practice, yet there I was. And what I found is that the traditional ways of sharing my message and getting my voice heard was not it, well, it was not effective. It was not working for me. We'd get a few patients here and there, but it really wasn't the sort of extreme success that you would expect, especially considering I was doing all the things. I now know how to do so many marketing things that you might think I went to school for it because really that's what I did. I was like, okay, we're here we are. This is where we are. I have to learn every single way that I can market. Well, I learned them. I tried them. I also got the t-shirt and I need to get a new t-shirt saying there's a different way because that was not working for me. What worked for me was finding business besties. What's a business bestie, you might ask? A business bestie or business besties are people who they have the same sort of values that you have and they are appreciating the idea that a rising tide lifts all boats and they're out there being your biggest cheerleader and you're out there being their biggest cheerleader. And in that way, we all win, every single one of us. And that's how Ladies Power Lunch was born. You know, we got together for lunch one day and we were like, oh my goodness, we just solved all the world's problems in a two hour lunch. Why don't we do this every month? And so we did. And here we are so many years later, and all we're doing is we're growing and we're expanding. And what we would like to do for you is also offer you the opportunity to be one of our business besties so that we can be your cheerleader and you can be our cheerleader and everybody is a cheerleader. But what that means for you is that you will be able to get your message in front of 20 to 50,000 of your ideal clients, not just randos. Like, you know, you're out there screaming into the wind and hoping that some random people might hear you. We're not talking about that. We're talking about intentional attraction of the people that you've been sent here to serve. And that's what we sat down and thought about and brainstormed about and really organized in a very intentional way when a group of us at Ladies Power Lunch came together and decided that we were going to bring to you the Ladies Power Lunch Visibility Circle. So you're probably wondering, what on earth is Visibility Circle? Well, guys, it's just an opportunity for you to get visible, but in an aligned and authentic way. So no, if turning cartwheels online, dancing, dressing up in crazy costumes is not your thing, if it's your thing, that's awesome, because some days it's my thing. Like, you know, you've probably seen me in the past in my crazy glasses, and you've seen me waving my pom-poms there are some days when that's my deal but 
sometimes that can also detract from your message. Sometimes it's not the kind of person that you are. Sometimes you might feel like it's becoming difficult for you to get heard above the din of people who are doing all those things, like turning all the cartwheels and wearing all the crazy costumes and doing all the crazy dances. You might feel like your ideal client might just not be able to hear you in the way that you might like. I'm a project manager at heart. If I wasn't a physician, I tell people all the time, I'd be an engineer because I love to find simple solutions to what seems to be complex problems. And so I sat with Elizabeth, my dear, dear friend, who's also joining us over on Ladies Bar Lunch Facebook group. So glad you're able to join in, Elizabeth. I said to Elizabeth, what would happen if the people who want to be seen and want to be heard and have messages that the world actually does need to hear, what would happen if they had greater authority in their field? And Elizabeth said, well, what would happen is they'd be best-selling authors and, you know, now they'd have a bit more gravitas behind their message. So we sat down and we mapped it out and we came up with this perfect plan. It is so perfect in its simplicity because all you have to do is, I would say a great place to start would be to start by sitting with Barb and figuring out, really, really honing in on exactly what it is that your message is. What's the thing that you've been brought here to share with the world? What's the thing? And sitting with Barb, I feel like that's stage one, because once you know what that is, everything else flows from there. And Barb, I just want to hand over to you for you to explain how that process, that step one with you works. Would you be kind enough to share that? Of course. You know what? I like to keep things simple and streamlined as well. Although although I certainly don't claim myself to be an engineer, but simplicity is love. So basically, you just show up. We're going to sit and have a conversation. We are going to talk about your magic story. We're going to surface that. We are going to define it. And then we're going to align visuals to it that help draw out and show your magic in ways that just make sense. You also get a really cool, like you get some messaging out of this that you can sprinkle into all kinds of spots on your, like on your website, your social media, your email, the list is exhaustive, really. I mean, there's just the long list that you can put this messaging into places that really where your, your ideal client's going to be looking and going, Ooh, she's speaking to my heart. She really gets me because that's the key, right? You want to be magnetic and this will make it magnetic. So you sit with Barb and you figure out what your message is. You then I would say your next step would be, and I'm just giving you the step by step. Look, guys, if you want to come work with us, it's going to be tons of fun, but I'm giving you the step by step right now so that if you want to take this blueprint and go do it yourself, you also can do that. Because, guys, that's how I roll, right? You know me, you've met me before. That is how I roll. So basically, step two is we take that message and your instructions are going to be, hey, go commune with spirit. Yes, I said that. Go commune with spirit. Because what's going to amplify that message in the way that your optimal client needs to hear it? It's that communion. So I usually recommend to people block off like a two hour block of time on your schedule. I've practiced, I'm able to write a little bit over a thousand words an hour if I'm really in the flow of writing. And so my suggestion to you is you might have to break it up into sessions, but block off two hours of time. And before you start writing, just tune in to what spirit would like to share with your ideal audience. And then 
you put pen to paper, fingers to keyboard, however it is that you get your message out. I was talking to somebody after Summit and she was like, I find it really hard to write, but if I'm recording or speaking, the words just flow. You can do voice to text, whatever it is that you wanna do. There is a technology that's out there that supports the way you get your message out. And you spend this hour or two hours just getting raw words on the page. My dear friend who is a writing coach and she's a Harvard trained writing coach, she says, don't edit yourself, write your shitty first draft. Yes, mm -hmm. I said those words. Mm -hmm. Just write your first draft. And it's usually when you sit for about two hours, you might get about 2,500 words coming out of you. But what I have found with every single one of our clients that we've worked with on this process is those 2,500 words are golden, pure gold, because out of that, we can build your website copy. Out of that, we can build your emails to your clients. Out of that, we can build your blog. Out of that, we can build your chapter for the next Ladies Power Lunch anthology because this is your story. And what you want to make sure of, and Barb, chime in here because this is your area of expertise. When your message is coherent and it's the same mm -hmm. and you have it in all the different places, then nobody is confused as to what it is that you're talking about. A lot of people... Exactly. Like, for example, you, Barb, when people wonder about what you do, they know that you're doing design and they know that it's for the heart centered entrepreneur. Why is that? Because every single piece of marketing that you're putting out there is ringing that bell. And you might feel yeah. like, oh, I'm being a, I'm being a, I'm being a Davia. <laughs> same, same note all the time. But guess what? Everybody knows what it is that you're talking about. Come on, Barb, share. Tell us why what yeah. I'm saying makes sense. It's true. I mean, that consistency is key because let me tell you this. There is no such thing as a confused buyer. That is, that animal does not exist in the world. So when you are consistent in your messaging, consistent in your visuals too, you know exactly what you're putting out there. So for example, you're going to feel, you may feel the experience like the VOSA, saying, you may feel like you're a broken record. That's not at all. You're being consistent. And so somebody sees you on YouTube, somebody sees you on um, the Facebook lives here. Somebody sees you, goes to your website, they go to your sales page. They see you in the chapter in the books. You're using the same messaging, the same words. And I find, I love that you mentioned bringing in spirit because I feel like that is the key element that I love to infuse. I, I love to marry strategy with spirit and it just makes the alignment so easy and so aligned <laughs> for lack of better words but yeah I mean, you've got to have that consistency and it's got to be everywhere but you know what once you have it it's easy to show up and be consistent to use those words because those words are aligned to you what you do and they are magnetic to your star clients they just they're like it's it's, it's just magnetism at its finest I absolutely agree with that. I would say that, you know, I tried it. I tried marketing the traditional way. I learned all the things. I truly, I have this tendency where I, I did Strengths Finder. Have you ever done Strengths Finder, Barb? Yes. yes. No? Yep. Mm -hmm. My number one strength is love of learning. Number one yeah. with a bullet, right? Mm -hmm. love of learning. So when my business coach said to me, hey, you got to learn how to do a newsletter. I went and learned how to do the very best possible newsletter. When she said, you have to learn to switch that into making it an e-magazine. I learned how to do that. I was sending out flyers. I was writing articles in the newspaper. I was doing a radio show. I was doing all the things. I was networking with a chamber and no offense to chambers. If you join your local chambers, they're great opportunities there. Everybody really should try to do that. But what I'm saying is 
that the traditional ways, I tried them all. I learned them well and tried them all and it didn't work for me. And I think that the reason is that for the heart-centered entrepreneur, the traditional methods don't really fit. Let me ask you this, Divya, when you were doing all of that, and and I, I can so relate to this because I feel like there's spaghetti marks still on the walls from when I used to do this very same thing. How was your energy when you were doing this? So here's the thing. I had great energy around learning the thing because yeah. I love to learn. Hey, yes. like, if you gave me the opportunity to just be a student for the rest of my life, I would probably do that. Yeah. But the delivery was mm. problematic because there was sort of an energy of, I want to say frustration and mm-hmm. also an energy of desperation. And oh, that was not great energy to bring to working on basically any project. I really don't recommend that. And I'm yeah, glad I you agree. brought that up because that's one of the reasons why as part of our conglomerate of amazing entrepreneurs who stepped up and said, yes, they want to be part of helping to deliver visibility circle to our ladies power lunch members who would choose it. We have Lori who, (coughs) excuse me, Lori, who is taking her time to share with us about the sort of mindset shifts that you have to have when you're working on getting visible to your optimal clients it's true it's true it's it's so great that you bring up this idea of what was the energy that I was in and I can truly tell you it wasn't great I mean the country wasn't in great energy at that time and I was buying into Mm -hmm. that as well I admit it freely and I invite you to understand this it probably was great training ground for me because there's always going to be something going on. There's always going to be something. And if you're able to monitor your energy so that the energy that you're putting out for your optimal client to find you is more in that positive realm and less in that, I got to do this now, I've got to respond, I've got to react, then you're definitely going to see better results. Yeah. So I think I've mentioned, you know, the four key people who are delivering on our promises to visibility for our Ladies Power Lunch Visibility Circle. I've mentioned that we start with Barb and we get your message honed. Then Barb helps you to look professional in terms of your web presence, because one of the things that I know for sure is that I've like I said, I learned all the things. So I learned how to make a website. Did not do well because design is not my thing. (laughs) Didn't look professional because design is not my thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so being able to have a professional to make you look professional online helps you to stand out. So that's thing one. Thing two, writing, getting spirit involved and just putting your words on the paper, so to speak. And we're using that to make your messaging, make your copy, but also using those words to make you a bestseller, to be a part of the Ladies Power Lunch Fall Anthology. So that's going to be an amazing journey for all of us. Third thing, You need to start leading the conversation, guys. I don't know about you, but what I've noticed is that when you hear the national conversation, it's not including the voices of peace and love. The voices of the heart-centered entrepreneur seem to be overlooked a little bit. So we need to start leading the conversation. And how Mm -hmm. are we going to do that? Great way to do it is through podcasting. And so podcasting is a prime piece of the puzzle that we're putting together that is the visibility circle and you get to be a part of that great tremendous journey and again we're just using the same copy the same words that you were able to get from source to build out your runway for your podcast episodes and then of course 
nothing happens without getting the head right. And so we have Lori bringing up the rear, but she really should be bringing up at the front because the mindset is key. So I don't know about you, Barb, but I feel like it's a really, really comprehensive package. Mm -hmm. We haven't mentioned things like the work that Drew does with Ladies Power Launch for, you know, our social media marketing and making sure that we are being seen by the right people. We haven't mentioned every single person who's a part of this program that will be delivered to you. But what we do know for sure is that you will have the experts looking at you and looking at your projects and getting you visible. That's the plan. And it's for the heart centered entrepreneur. It is, it is aligned visibility. Yes. That's it. It's simple. It feels easy. It's simple feels slow because easy. You, you were talking about the energy that you're doing, you know, when you're hustling and you're learning all the things and it's the aligned visibility. That's the key. It doesn't have to feel heavy. It doesn't have to feel difficult. It doesn't have to feel frustrating. Where'd you go? <laughs> there you are. I'm right here. <laughs> all right. Let me show you what I was doing. <laughs> Was I taking a sip of my tea? (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) That may have happened. Yeah, I I don't know. I feel as though this is what the heart-centered entrepreneur needs right now. And like I said before, I've outlined these steps. These steps are yours, my gift to you. If you want to go ahead and get started, hit the ground running, you even have the Ladies Power Lunch Anthology Workbook Answer the Call that can back you up on that. But get started. Start sharing your message in that heart-centered way because this is not a drill. The people who are out there who need to hear your voice, they need you. They're losing sleep at night because they haven't as yet connected with you. Meanwhile, you're looking under every rock and nook and cranny to try to find a client trying to fill your practice. But what would happen if you didn't have to do that because you were presenting yourself in such a way that you didn't have to go searching, but people were always finding you. The right people were always finding you. And that's what we're offering with Visibility Circle. We want to make sure that the container that we're holding is also the right container. And so we are inviting application. And you can go and find our application form at growsmarternotharder.com. Yep, that's it, right? You just go there. Yeah. Grow, growsmarternotharder.com. That's where you go and you can find our application form. You can fill it in there. And what you can be certain of is that myself, Barb, Elizabeth, and Lori, we love you so much. We have your very best interest at heart. But not only do we love you, but we also love the people who need you. And we want to make sure that they can find you. Because we have this vision, guys, and it's... It's a little pie in the sky, I know, but that's just the type of person that I am. We have this vision that what would happen if you were able to touch all these lives that you're meant to touch and they lit up and then they each went on to touch all the lives that they were meant to touch and those lives lit up and on and on and on. What would the ripple effect be for the whole world? Can you tell me that the world wouldn't be a better place? Can you tell me with true honesty that the world wouldn't be a little bit kinder, a little bit more loving, a little bit better? Thanks so much for joining us today, everybody. We really, truly do appreciate you. I want to say thank you again to everybody who joined us for Ladies Power Lunch Spring Summit. We're going to have the recordings available for you come Monday. And of course, you can keep following along in your Answer the Call workbook. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to our speakers. So, so grateful to all of you. And one last thing before I go, 
we have moved ladies power lunch coffee break we're now going to be on a tuesday but not only that the time has changed from 11 30 to 11 so it's 11 a.m eastern time on a tuesday and our venue <clears throat> is a little different. So you'll be able to find us on your Apple TV, your Roku TV, you'll be able to find us on your Fire TV, and you'll be able to find us at growsmarternotharder.com slash TV. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I think I got it right. There's so many, yeah. so many URLs to remember. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next show. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, y'all.